uh, test the uninvolved side first for comparison, and then you'll go to the involved side. So first we're going to bring her hip through hip flexion. So you passively bring the patient's hip all the way up, and normal hip flexion range of motion is 120 degrees. Then while you're at 90 degrees of hip flexion and knee flexion, you can bring the patient into internal rotation and external rotation. Normal is 45 degrees for both. Then while the patient is supine, you can stabilize on the contralateral ASIS and bring the patient into abduction. And when that contralateral ASIS feels like it's moving, that's the end of their range. Then you can bring the patient into adduction by moving this leg off the table, coming to the other side, stabilizing ipsilaterally, and then bringing the patient into adduction. To measure extension, you can have the patient turn prone. And you want to stabilize at the iliac crest. You can have their knee bent or extended. And you're just bringing them back up into hip extension. Now from this prone position, you can also have the patient bring their knees Flex to 90 degrees, and then they can cross their legs together, and you can compare each side, each leg, to see their gross external rotation range of motion, and then you can have them separate their ankles to see their gross internal rotation range of motion. And that is how you can do a quick range of motion screen for a hip exam. <laughs>